Zero Two A Red Class. Today is Wednesday, April the twenty sixth. We are looking at handout four H O four. There are a bunch of pieces. I'm gonna um, see if we can give it to you in such a way that oh, it's as easy for you as it is for me. It's in that back. So there it comes highlighters, highlighters. Get the highlighter really fast. Um, a long time ago, a long time ago, uh, you had to graph uh, a parabola. You had to move it up. You had to move it down. Uh, you had to move it to the left, move it to the right. You had to a right equation. How can I show that I moved it up, down, left, right, and all that kind of stuff? Well, the answer was this. Um, I'll ask it out here. Something might remember. Which of the letters move things up or down? The A, the H, or the K? Answer out loud, please. Okay, and then it writes right here, so I want you to highlight that. The K, uh, uh, for me, I didn't even circle it, and I'll put up, down, because their writing is going to be so small. Um, now, there's going to be a small question that has that on there, and I want to do that, um, make sure you have that part. Um, the H and the K, if you had a highlighter, you can highlight that K, that way it can be the most important thing there. Now, we won't be doing it with a parabola. But it's the same rule. Uh, can someone tell me what letter moves things left or right? The A, the H for the K. Uh huh. The H does. The H does, and it says it right here. This is on in your handout. This is like the third or fourth page in your handout. So it's not like where did you get this from? It's like the third or fourth page. Um, so this one does left, right. I wish I could um, go here. And go sure. You go left. Right. As a matter of fact, um, anytime you have an equation um, where they want you to move things around, if you need to move something up or down, whatever the original equation is, go to the very end of it and put plus something or minus something, and that'll move it up or down. So whatever the whole equation is, you just keep here and move it to the right. Um, if you need to move something to the left, to the right, find wherever the letter X is. And in a parenthesis, put minus whatever, and I'll go to the right and so on. Well, why is he saying all this? Because on the next page, we're going to get an equation that doesn't quite look like this one. But we do need to move things up, down, left, right, uh, and let's see if we can do that. Here's the equation. Uh, go to this page. That is an exponential function. It's an airplane um, function. Let's see if they can do something. But um, please, for those who have uh, a reasonable memory, please draw the um, the graph that goes with y equals 10 to the x. Do it with a pencil. Yes, Adam. I'm going to check mark to see um, what it might be. The uh, hint will be uh, I'm going to write the word exponential function. Um, and then that might help somebody out. Someone might still be like, I got an idea. Exponential function, um, C, F, C, N, and I'll write the whole word, you can write to, for those who want a hint, and I hate giving a hint, because now I don't know who knew it already, uh, and who is going to get it after the hint, so then I won't give the hint, um, uh, well, let's find out, let's find out, find out, um, thumbs. Seven again to move it up or down. Right now they're guessing on 
Moving it uh, four to the left. Let's see what they choose to do. Uh, let me walk around and then come back. Uh, there are people new. Obviously, they had to put a four in. Uh, let's find out where we do it. This one doesn't uh, matter as much other than I just want to try it. All right, so to move it four to the left, what am I writing? Can you say that loud? It's a guess. It's all right. For the first time, normally right after this, I'd do the right one, and you'd be like, oh, that's it. Um, anyone want to guess? Plus four is going to be correct, because, um, again, we want to move it to the left, and the left and right thing is always the opposite. So plus four is going to be important. Uh, here comes the question, where are we putting that plus four? With the X correct, which means it actually has to go in a parenthesis. Now, some of you did some good stuff. Some of you did minus fours. You put it at the end. Um, but technically, that's what it would look like. Why is it going up there? Uh, in order for it to go left or right, it has to be partnered with the X and in a parenthesis. So if you wrote it, so you make sure to put it in. I'm not doing the second one of this one. Uh, I am going to put it in here. All right. Um, all right. So let's move on. Um, let's go to the next important thing. Uh, the second part, there's more than one of these on here. So let's see if we can get this part going. Good. Number five. Go to uh, page five. Uh, I think it's the very front page. Tables. We're going to produce uh, a table with our x's to 0 to 5. We're going to put their partners for what the y's are. So that's going to be the original table. After that, we're going to make a brand new table called an inverse table. We're going to reverse the letters. Uh, so the word inverse, what we think of it as reverse. We're going to reverse the letters and put it in the new table, and voila. That will be the table. Today you're doing uh, inverses in three ways. You can do table, you can do graph, equation, table, graph, equation. Table is the easiest. So I figured let me give them the easy stuff. They can feel all good about themselves. We'll do A. We'll do A. I don't know where I'm going to write my stuff. How much space do they have? Um, just in case we do two. Uh, we're going to do A. You're going to have to write small. You're going to have two tables eventually. So if you're doing A, um, I'm going to have them start by writing the equation with a Y so they can put it in their calculators. Second thing, they're going to need to write two tables. Um, I'll do one in uh, green, the original green, the original black. Um, zero, one. This that you're doing here, you've done this before a million times. Um, am I going to five? I'm going to go to four. Let's go to four. So it can have five terms. All right. Um, so OG, um, I grew up in LA um, back in like the 80s. And you can mean OG, uh, original gangster. Uh, I didn't become one. Uh, I mean, I got out because we had the, the little big mark here. And when you put you in, and so I was in. Um, and then, uh, you know, you snap like, super cool. Yeah, you're like that, right, right? And then you got your laces, you know. Back in the day, you had your, like red laces. I think I was in the area where the laces were blue. I don't know if the colors matter anymore. But back in the day, they did in L.A. Um, Prince John Florence. If you know Prince John Florence, then you know what's up. Um, and then uh, then after that, was that with this, anything? I don't think so. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is going to put here, OG. It's an OG. It's an original problem. Um, this is the uh, OG. The original that you need. Um, and you're like, fools up those laces. And, and, and the color's wrong. Yeah. So I wasn't I wasn't associated, so let's get the laces white, black, blue. <laughs> uh, I had a friend, each was the wrong color. <laughs> so good. Alright, um, here we go. Um, so over here now, let me ask, uh, do colors matter anymore? Does anybody know? Oh, okay. Um, just from my church shoes, just <laughs> nothing happens. All right, here goes, um, next step, um, oh, do they have it in yet? Oh, let's do that. This is the most important part. The new part, this is all the new part is the important part. So here we go, um, uh, what's the partner with the zero? Um, once you say, yeah, once you say you're out of the pool, uh, negative six, someone different, what's it with the one? Three, you're out of the pool. Someone else with the two. Uh, 
Alright, you're out of the pool. Someone else with the three. Thank you. And someone else uh, with the four. <laughs> Second game, please. Thank you. Alright, so that's the original thing. No big deal. You didn't have to use any brain power other than punching it to white equals. Uh, and then that. Here's the new stuff. We need the inverse of this table. The inverse of this table is the reverse of this table. So here's what we're going to write. This, I'm going to write the reverse. I'm going to have you write it as well. And reverse will lead us to the inverse. The inverse table. Uh, let's see how I can write this. Uh, hopefully it doesn't mess with our minds. Still x and a y. The x and the y, now you're not using a calculator. You're just reversing the order that you had. In other words, originally uh, we had a 0 and a negative 6. Now we have the reverse. And we do the reverse. The inverse is the reverse for you use tables. This is one of the things I'm going to ask you on your uh, assessment. Hey, they're giving you an equation. You need to produce table, and it's Do you know what it means? Do you know how to do it? Um, here comes the... Someone tell me what the second row is going to be. I did the first row, so say the second row. Uh -huh. Someone different, please. Tell me the next row. Thank you. Someone different, tell me the next row. Yeah, you lucked out. All right, uh, someone different, tell me the next row. There's your uh, reverse. No big deal. Let's have them do one of these on their own. And then from there, we will do... Um, that's, that's the first of the three pieces. Second piece will be kind of graph stuff. Graph stuff, they're going to give us a picture. We have to get the original off of the picture, reverse it, and then put that new dot on the picture. In other words, if we're doing tables, you can put 0, comma, negative 6, put a dot there. Then it's it, please graph the inverse. You go find where negative 6, comma, 0, put a dot there in a different color. We just graphed the inverse. Okay? Using table. There's more than one way, but... Um, what can I see if we can do it with the table? Alright, uh, do me a favor, which one looks funny, ugly, do I want to use? No, I don't have a lot of time, so let's just do B. Uh, so B, what do I want you to do for B? Do for B what we just did for A. Write down the equation using Y equals, put it into your calculator, get your first table, um, your second table, uh, the end. This one, the first one I didn't check mark, the second one I am going to check mark, do it all together. Um, <coughs> And then we'll go on to the second part. Oh no. Wait, um. What did you do now? And I should put, put reverse in quotes. Inverse is the real word. Give me an opportunity to address a particular problem that may show up. Um, Write down the equation. Uh, so this is different. Uh, so on that page that has a big box of the next door page, y equals uh, 3x minus 6. That's the original guy you had over here. Um, there is the original 3x minus 6. There he is. Um, you may be asked to do something with that guy. Um, I'm going to actually do it right now so that the words aren't crazy when you read them. Um, but I'll say something like this, and you write what I write. Um, the instructions transform. So it's in your notes, just in case it's broken, you can fix it later, you'll be able to find transform, and parentheses, change. That's all transform, change. Write this down, write this down uh, on the page right next to it. Transform. The equation so that the slope, this is a long time ago, slope is um, negative four. Write this down. The y intercept 
is uh, is what is positive five. Positive five. Positive seven. Is seven. Let's say positive. Let's say seven. Write this one down. Um, and then uh, write that down. Then actually, actually, to try and actually do it. In this original problem, I said, right. so you will know which one is the slope, which one is the y intercept. If you know which one is the slope, which one is the y intercept, you can transform, you can change it. If you don't know which one is the slope and which one is the y intercept, then you just can't do it. I am going to write on the board, you'll get to see the answer. What I want you to know is, math is math. If you remember stuff in math, you're good at it, and you remember it. If you don't remember stuff, you can't do it, and then some people say you're dumb at it, or you're not good at it, but it's just memory. If I don't remember which one of these numbers is the slope, how can I change it? But I can't remember which one of these numbers is the y-intercept, how can I do it? Here we go. Hey, someone say about which one of these original numbers is the slope. Three is it? The six is a good choice too, though. Uh, the three is it? Um, so when I change the slope to a negative four, here's what it looks like. I really just change. I transform it to a negative four. The y and the x they always just stay the same. If you didn't get this part, please finish it off with what they wanted you to do with the y-intercept. You only have two numbers. One of them is the slope. The other guy has to be the y-intercept. And we'll just switch it. They want it to be a 7. Um, is it say positive 7 or a negative 7? Uh, and as a result, the um, the original y-intercept, well, man, what is the original y-intercept? Uh, the negative 6, the whole negative 6. So when you change that whole negative 6 into positive 7, then something's going to happen. Uh, someone tell me what am I putting here at the end? Is the whole plus 7, and I know what you're asking, I didn't want to just say it to you right away. Now again, the first time, I was like, oh, I'm not sure. If I actually do this a second time, then everybody would be good. Oh, they changed the first number, changed the second number. This one is going to come in there. I had to interrupt because I realized, oh, shoot, sure, they say that one little thing that some people will need for their memory. All right, let's back up to the last thing, which is I'm coming around to check mark your, um, boom, recording. Thank you, technology. All right, here we go. Let's see. Um, let's see. We're backing up to, oh. Uh, second table, let's kind of do this fast. By the time the hand gets on two, whether I get up or not, here we go. Go, 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 go. Zero, slash. Um, nope, uh, I need an X and a Y on that thing. So make sure you have your X. These are called X, Y tables, by the way. Um, two zeros, too fast. All right, whatever. All right, uh, here goes a one, two, three, four. All right, uh, get ready. Give me the answer for the original guy. Um, x to the third power minus five. What's the what goes with zero? Somebody. Negative five. She's out the pool. Uh, uh, with a one. She's out. Two. Three. Three. All right. Now that was. I feel like it was here. The next to the three. Twelve. Twenty-two. I heard a twenty-two. And uh, out. One last person. Fifty-nine. All right. And obviously the switch over is, is um, if your numbers are different um, and you need to correct one of these, it's fine. The inverse, please do this so I know that you're, um, you mean it. Uh, you can put reverse. And I guess really the most important word is the inverse. Inverse is the math word for reversing it. I don't think I need help with that. Uh, let's see, ooh, you're four. Go, you're at three, uh, and 22, oops, really, you can't just erase it, erase it, click, 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 all right, um, negative four and a one, three and a two, 22 and a three, 59 and a four, all right, so we did that, any questions on um, doing the inverse, using the equation and the table? Sweetheart. Um, let's go now to the picture form, which is going to start getting tricky for some people. So hang in there. Uh, what page is that on my thing? Uh, I'm skipping you six. I'm going to 
10. I go to 10, we might... Sheesh. Mm. I'll start with 10. I'm going to try and maybe back up to this thing. We'll see. This is the part that some people have uh, trouble on. So let's see if I give it to them. We'll do it twice. So I can have it. LOS. Anybody remember what LOS stands for? Uh, line of symmetry. You know, you can do the parabola, it's a rainbow, you cut it in half. But the purpose of inverse is going to put uh, inverse LOS. Where can I write that? Inverse LOS. Uh, let me see what this place looks like. Let me all the space down there. They'll need a table eventually. Mm, above. Inverse LOS. I'll put inverse LOS up here. Uh, for an inverse uh, LOS, um, and that's um, line of symmetry. I'll write down one time line. Uh, I want you to do it too, so you have backup of symmetry. Also, next week, we also work on some pages that will produce your six pages. Some of these pages may not be the best for six pages, but for now. Um, Let's put inverse inside of a parenthesis. The inverse line of symmetry is an equation. It's going to be y equals x. This is a famous equation. This is the equation of a line. Uh, you need ruler effect also that you can draw the. You see, you see this first little box. You see the box. Don't call it a man. It's just me showing you that first little box. This box has two corners. He has the origin, which is going to be important. And he has a diagonal, that little guy right up here. With our ruler, we're going to connect those two points. That produces your line of symmetry. The equation y equals x. Since it's going, if I'm making a table, come on, can you do this? Can you do this? Um, I'll do three so to get the uh, the idea. Um, zero, one, two, three. When x is 0, y is 0. That is, y and x are equal to each other. So whatever x is, when x is 1, y is 1, they're equal to each other. When x is 2, does anybody know what y is going to be? Yeah, they're always equal to each other. Well, what does that mean when you graph this? 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. It's just a straight line that goes up. But so that you don't have to build it, here's all you need to know. Thomas, please graph y equals x. That's the line of symmetry. Oh, you mean put a dot at the origin and put a dot on this diagonal right here. When I connect that line, it will always go through the diagonals of all those boxes, giving me the line of symmetry. This is my LOS. What does Thomas want you to do? He wants you to draw your line of symmetry, your LOS, with your ruler, and make it go straight forward. You don't necessarily need a table, but if ever you had to produce a table, that's kind of what it would be. Draw your LOS, your line of symmetry. You'll get three pictures today, and on all three of them, the ones to draw the line of symmetry. But you're going to want you to get the inverse. The inverse of the picture. And the way you get it is step one, draw my LOS. Step two, give the coordinates of the original dots that are in them. What are you talking about? On this picture here, um, time. Fine. On this picture here, they give you some of the dots, some of the points of the original picture. On the picture that you will get, they won't make these dots extra big. So the question is, how is it going to know where, what points to use? The answer is, any of the points that hit a corner, like you see how this little square here? At this point, since it hits the corner, I get to use it. Um, this point here, he doesn't hit a corner. He's like in the middle of the box. You don't get to use it. So when you get your assessment today, your mini assessment, them, they won't be these big dots. The big dots are just for teaching. When you look there, you're not going to see it at all. Like this guy here, I get to use him. How do I know? He's on a corner. A corner. There's a square, and there's the corner of that square. That's how you know which ones you get to use. Like, I don't even know what he's talking about. What do you mean use them? Here's how we use them. I'm about to draw the inverse picture of the original. How do I do that? I name my, I check like about three or four dots and I'm going to name them A, B, C, D. 
the very first one, I gotta go in order for this thing to work out smoothly. Here it comes. I need four of these. If you only gave me three, I'd use three, but I'm gonna use four this time. So, you get to be named. And, um, do it in black. Player A. My friend here, he's B. He's C. He's D. Always in order. Too much to write. Step two. Get the actual coordinates of those original dots. Okay. Um, four tables. Why not? This table here, you guys can be A. That table, you either are B. That table, you are C. You are D. Get ready to say what the coordinates are of your point. Uh, anybody at the table can do it. Take about um, 10 seconds to decide who will do it. Um, that way, um, we don't have to guess when it's time. A, B, C, D. Get ready for it. Table A, what are the coordinates of uh, point A? Right here. Uh, I'm going to go to B. I'll come back. Uh, table B, what's the uh, uh, B? Uh, the coordinates of this B. I know, it's from a long time ago. It's, uh, I'm coming back. It's a long time ago. C, what do you got? <laughs> two, four, look at that. Um, you go over two, one, two. And four, one, two, three, four. Um, table D, what you got on yours? Eight seven. Eight seven. Uh, I'll check back those A and uh, B in the interest of time. I may have three. All right. You're um. Zero. Uh, yeah, you guys zero three because say they're good, good. Zero three and um. What do you guys A? Four? Is that for me positive or negative? So far, so good. Uh, if you forget how to do that, then that's hard. But if you now remember, like, oh, give the uh, count, negative one, negative two, negative three, so on. All right, so we're almost done with it. Um, we did the table things, they're good with that. The second piece is important. Uh, how do we get it? Step one, find the dots and the coordinates. Give them a name. Here comes the tricky part. Get ready for it. To do the inverse above it, we're going to switch these numbers and give it a new name. Here's how we do that. The, uh, let, let's switch this number, that part's easy. Uh, just like we've done on our table, we just switch the x and the y. One, negative four, look at that, that's no big deal. You're doing the inverse now, that green is the inverse. And what do you call that point uh, for an inverse point? You do a... Uh -huh. Who said that? Yeah, 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 that's old school. Yes, A prime, uh, to give the new name. Is that from geometry, or did we do that in here? Yeah, yeah, okay, good, good, good. yeah, A prime, yeah, yeah. Well, do me a favor, do B prime, do C prime, do D prime. Yeah, I mean, you can do it. Switch the order of the original numbers and give it a new name. The last step is we're actually going to graph the green stuff. So step one, choose the original dot, give it a name, write its coordinate, write the inverse, switch the numbers, give it a new name, and then put in those new dots. Seems like a lot of stuff, but really it's, it's not that much stuff. Um, so here comes, uh, there's 30, for B prime, um, there's 42, for C prime, uh, and there's 70, and for those who have never taken geometry, just a little mark at the top. So, Thomas, what is it that you want me to do to finish this one? To know that I'm done, I have to put that green stuff, I actually have to put in those coordinates somewhere and connect those dots. The red line stays there. As a matter of fact, with a highlight, please highlight your line of symmetry. That line is super important. Um, that LOS, please highlight that one. There's some things that aren't that important for the LOS. If he's not on your assessment, eventually I'll have to return to you and say, oh, it's broken. Um, all right, Thomas, put in the green, do this one more time, and then um, we do the equation version, and then I'll count to your assessment in the country. Seems like a lot of stuff, but it's just uh, me trying to break down step by step so that you get it. Also, let's see, so what do I need to do? Where is 1, negative 4? 1, negative 4, I'm doing some green, 
four. Look at what I'm doing. Not only am I putting in the new dot, I'm writing down its coordinates. Now I don't know how small it is on your paper. Uh, I'm putting in its new name. Um, see what I just did for one, uh, one negative four? I put it in where it goes. And I gave it its new name. I'm going to do the same thing with B. Put in uh, the green stuff, all the inverses. I wish I could put inverse here in all the greens. I wish I could do that. 3, comma 0, where are you? 3, comma 0. 1, 2, 3. Now, if you're not good with putting in the graphing, then this part will mess you up. Alright, um, so this one is going to be 3, comma 0. And I'm going to put in the name. Uh, this is B prime. What you doing? So if you're writing, then you're doing good. If you're not writing, then. Um, where is C prime? 4, comma 2, 4, comma 2. You kind of did this in geometry um, in the sense that we are officially reflecting over the line of symmetry. We're doing a picture we're reflecting. Uh, and then his last friend is 7, 8, where you 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Really? on the screen. I'm sorry, video people. Um, give me a ruler. I'll just try and draw it. That is another thing. I wish I had a... I, I have three different colors, so mine is whatever yours. I don't know how yours distinguish. One is black. You got your highlight your pencil. Let me pause though. I, mean, I may try to do another one, but I just want to show you have it. Um, I can ask any questions about what we did here. So far. Now let's do that. No one asked that. I get test back like, no, you should pass. Okay, so connect your original dot, give it a name, reverse it, give it a new name, and craft it. All right, let me see if we can make you uh, do one. Um, this picture here, we're going to do a baby table. A baby table. Um, the baby table is just going to have 0 and 1 of the original and 0 and 1 of the um, inverse. Do me a favor. Put that guy in your calculator. Do a baby table. Uh, 3. Baby table just means x, y. Just do 0 and 1. I know if you do 0 and 1, you do 0 to 4. You know? So, and then do the inverse. Do that really fast. Do that really fast. Punch it in um, and put in your, um, your original, then your inverse. Try to start off just the process. This is a, the easy version of it. Um, what's the partner to zero on this one? Anybody? Three. And one? Three point five. Okay. Uh, so the table is not a big deal, even if they have decimals. Um, the only way you can get it wrong is you punch it in wrong. Once you get it, you hit blue button table, it just gives you the stuff. Um, Alright, let me see if I can have them pick. Three letters, fine, we'll try it. Go to page 11, 11, 11, sure, 
11. I'm going to tell you where to start labeling, usually from the left to the right. Label A, B, C, D from left to right. Um, I'm not going to have enough time to do a lot of it. I just want you to kind of get started. So start labeling these points left to right. Um, make this guy A here, and then you know come around this way with the B, the C, the D, and the E. I'm just going to have you do three points in the interest of time. So label A, B, C, um, D, E. But I want you to only put the coordinates for um, A, B, C and um, the inverses of them. In other words, instead of doing all five of them, just do three of them. Show me that even though the picture is different and weird, you can label. You can write the coordinates. Then you can do the green stuff. So you're going A, B, C, D, label all of them. I mean, you're putting um, all the letters. But which ones are you only doing? Only do A, B, C. We'll come around and peek and see what does he want them to do? He wants them to label inverse and graph. Graph includes connecting those three dots. Stop whatever you're doing and draw your line of symmetry and then go back and do pick A, B, C. Um, I'm trying to put some mine on the board. Hopefully I get it right. Let's see. Zero, eight, five, four, four, six. If I get mine wrong, can somebody look out for me? Okay, so. The, yeah, I guess once you get the originals, the other ones. to mess up, but let's imagine you get two of them. I feel like I almost want to give you credit because you can always mess up on one. All right, um, where do, how do I connect these guys? Six and four, six and four. Two and four, one, two, three, four. Um, I label it because I know I'm going to have to connect these guys. Yeah, there's not a lot of space that I see it on. Where is this friend here? Three and a three, where are you? All the same place. Three, three and a three, three and a three. That's weird. And then this negative six and a negative two. Oh, yeah, that's getting way messy. All right, and I connect the dots um, in the order A, B, C. A, B, C. I don't know what to say other than it's ugly. Hopefully they don't make it that ugly on the assessment. But as long as you label, I can start looking at your stuff. Let's say something's broken. Okay, did they do that? Okay, they label that. Oh, they switched. Okay, I see that. They switched. Oh, okay. So the picture's off for some weird reason because I see that they have, you know, so label. Maybe. Uh, pause before I leave this whole graphing thing. Um, uh, eventually we would do the table. We're not doing it now. Um, my page five is out of space, so I'm going to erase at the top of page six. You may have some uh, space. Uh, we're about to do the equation thing. For some people, this is going to be easy. I'll do an easy one, a weird one, and then let you attempt your thing. Let's see if I can do... Do... Easy... Here comes. Uh, where are you going to write your three problems? Um, I don't know. So I'm going to start with A as one of my three. I'm going to write Y equals the 3x minus 6. I'm going to do some equation on that one. Um, let me change this from A to where are you going to write yours? You're going to write three problems. I'm not sure where you're writing it. Um, make this problem one, rather. Uh, then problem two will make it um, y equals 
radical x plus um, plus minus four. You gotta write down these three problems somewhere. I'm gonna we're gonna solve these real fast and that'll be it. And then the third problem, which I give myself that much space. <laughs> third problem. Third problem will make it a uh, Alright, here it goes. Uh, come on, can I write you? I can do it. Um, y equals This is it. This is the grand finale. You made it. Um, and the last thing I want to do is succeed on assessment. Do what you can. Fix what's broken. There'll be three pictures. This is a lot of information. So here it comes. Hey Thomas, find the inverse of this equation. Step one to find the inverse of the equation. You switch, you reverse the x and the y. In other words, the x now comes up with oh, let me make a, let me do this so that they can notice how I did it. I'll make the y's all red so they can see when I switch the red y's. You're at the end, hang in there, doing good. see when I switched it, which is the first thing they're going to do. Um, the instructions, find inverse. So what we do, we did find the inverse for the table. There's a table, switch the letters, boom, I did it once. We had the uh, picture, find the inverse. Okay, I did the dot, I got the green stuff. I switched the um, part of the picture over the line of symmetry. The last time um, is going to be with the equation. How do you do with the equation? It starts off nice and easy. I'm going to switch the y and the x in the actual problem. Here's what that looks like, x. See how that begins? That's, that's, that's not the end, but it's really nice and easy. Get the inverse, get the reverse. Let me do it again over here on 2 so you can see how they all begin. They all begin with, and notice here, this problem, they give you this f of x up here on a. You have to rewrite it with the y. Uh, they give you the g of x up here. Uh, you have to rewrite it with the y. In any case, here it comes. Hey, do step one, Thomas. Step one to find the inverse is to reverse the y and the x. Everybody can do that if they remember. The only way you can't do this is if you forget. The last one, problem number three, we'll do the same thing. All right, here it comes. Uh, you can do this, you can do this. Uh, step one, do the reverse. Step two, I'm going to solve for the red y. I'm going to get the red y alone. Step two, I'm going to solve for the red y. I'm going to get the red y alone. Step two, I'm going to solve for the red y. I'm going to get the red y alone. In Hollywood, there are like some uh, directors do like 40 takes. Uh, take is where you do the same scene 40 times. Uh, in the movie Social Network, the Facebook movie, uh, David Fincher, he's a director. He does like, like 20 times you do the same scene over and over again. Until you don't even think about your words anymore. Here it comes. How do I solve this equation for y? Um, I just I do a bunch of inverses. In other words, step one, I'm going to add 6 to both sides. I want to put x plus 6. Right to solve the equation. Uh, equals the 3y. This one I'm going to ask, hey, what am I going to do to get rid of this 3 that's being multiplied times the y? Multiply regular equation. The question here isn't, do they know how to solve um, baby equations? The uh, idea here is, do they understand the instructions to find the inverse means Here, how they had uh, like f of x as the original name of the problem, and I change it to y. If you miss this last part, I'll just remind you: you have to rewrite the original name. F, um, f inverse of x. This negative one thing. That thing is math talk for. I just did all this work, and here's the new name of it. Let's see if they can handle that.
see if they can handle that. It looks like a negative one, but the way you say it is um, F inverse of X. But it, 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 we can call it a negative one for now. Well, you get the answer. This is the answer here, but this is how you have to say you got it. You have to say that this is the inverse. Let me do it two more times. You say, oh, I see, oh, I see. When the hang is on, I gotta give you a test no matter what. Well, what are we gonna do on our test? Step one, we're gonna make a table of the equation. Number two, we're gonna look at the picture, find the dots, switch the dots. And number three, the original equation. What did this thing do? It's a lot, here it comes. Hey, time to do the second one. Step one, um, can someone say what the first thing I'm gonna do to try and get y alone on this one? Say again? No, that's a good answer. Um, but we gotta get rid of that four before we do that. Good answer. So here we gotta get rid of everything that's not the y first. So here you go. And then, um, anybody know what the opposite of the square of the square root is? I'll tell you. I'm rewriting this so that um, we don't put two moves on the same line. To get rid of a square root, we put a parenthesis and we square it. It's like a little baby two. Too much information for some people. It's too much information. I recognize it. But one time, just get it on your paper. So you do what you can today. Eventually, when it's time to fix it, what you do to one side, you get a little baby two. You gotta do it to the other side. You gotta do a baby two. So if you do babysitting, and if you do babysitting, you have to babysit with a baby too. If you don't babysit with a baby too, um, there's going to be a problem. And what's so cool is something like... <laughs> Alright, uh, that's going to just make enough junk. Here it comes. Um, how do you write it uh, in the form with F? Alright, I'll do the last one, then I'll give you your paper. Thomas, you did too much. I know, I know I did too much. Dog on match, you use the time. Alright, what's it gonna do? The last one's gonna be some LOG stuff. It looks like a lot, but it really isn't a lot. Last one, LOG. How do I get that Y from up top? Anybody remember how to get that Y from the top? Right out here comes. What if I put the four on the bottom, like that, and then over here I have to put L O G. It's like O M G, but it's just in a math class. I think you guys start on, start that on uh, social media, um, and then instead of putting um, O M G, which is regular, like if something is funny or crazy or something, put L O G. And you kind of keep getting it going, whatever. And you know, you were the one who started it because it wasn't around before you started it. And then give me credit, like, yeah, because like my math teacher, he decided, he said we could do this, and we did. Thomas, where do you get the f of x thing from? That's just what you write that you have the inverse. Thomas, I stopped listening about 30 minutes ago. Uh, that's fine. Just write it. Write it. If I miss them on the test, you get to miss them. They have a bunch on there, so you can miss them and still be able to get them. Alright, relax your brains for a moment. Uh, here's your reminder. It'll be an easy one like this one here. Just regular. No radicals and that stuff. They'll be there too, but they'll be still easy ones. So think about this. Try to get some of the easy ones. Punch into the calculator, the easy ones, the tables. Go to the picture, find three or four dots, give them names, the person, draw your line of symmetry, put it on the easy one. Then you'll see something like medium, like ooh. Then you see something like, uh, okay. Um, in 30 seconds, I'm gonna put some in front of you. Clear your calculators, because that's the easy part. Your y equals, so if I were to suggest anything, and you see some problems, it would be, 
maybe do some of the tricky stuff first. In other words, if the gates are tricky for you, maybe try that because you can have the picture to uh, label the line of symmetry. Your table, maybe tables are easy, so you save the tables for the end. In any case, uh, in 25 seconds, I'm going to put it in front of you. It's front and back. Only two problems on the front of there all these pieces, tables, graph, equation. Table, graph, equation. Table, graph, equation. It's a silly little question. I want to see how, um, what you get down. Here it comes. So I can it. I'll put on the board what you need to do to table graph equation. <clears throat> if you do all three pieces on the very first one, then I might remind you of the three pieces you would do on the second one. I'll put a 